Hello and welcome to this edition of Mark in the Park, a program where we let you know all that's going on in Urbana Park District. Remember, at Urbana Park District, you belong here. Thanks for joining us today, and we're joined by Savannah Donovan, Environmental Public Program Coordinator. I got that all out in one <laughs> breath. That's right, Mark. Hi. Hi. And we're talking about America Recycles Day and some general recycling things going on. For first of all, what is America Recycles Day? Well, it's actually a nationwide event. And uh, communities all over the country celebrate America Recycles Day. Now, the holiday always falls on November 15th. But we like to do our celebration on a Saturday, you know, usually mm -hmm. at a time that, that seems to work well for our community. Um, this year, in addition to the America Recycles Day event at the Anita Purvis Nature Center, the city of Champaign is also planning their own Boneyard Creek cleanup, so we wanted that to be on the same day. So people in our Champaign-Urbana community could go to both events. So we're cleaning up the Boneyard, and then they can come out to the Nature Center right. uh, on Saturday afternoon of November 3rd, correct? That's right. That's right. From 1 to 4 p.m. is our event, and it's all free. And how many years has uh, Urbana Park District been participating in America Recycles Day? Well, for 11 years, the Park District has partnered with the City of Urbana's U-Cycle program to offer this event. Okay. So it's a, a well-established event. It so. is, yeah. But, you know, it's still pretty low-key lots of times. Mm -hmm. And the goal for America Recycles Day is pretty obvious, but what do you, what's, what do you want people to take away with them if they come out to the Nature Center on the 3rd? You know, every year we like to hone in on a theme to kind of make that huge big picture of recycling, you know, a little bit more focused. So this year our theme is fall into recycling. It's an autumn theme. Um, we are going to be uh, recycling, well, composting pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, because it'll be right after Halloween. So if you uh, people want to bring in their pumpkins, they can do that, and we will compost them. Um, and we're also doing a Halloween costume swap. So your kid, you just, you know, used your Halloween costume for the year. You're probably not going to want to use the same costume again next year. So why not bring it over to the Nature Center? We will have people hang them all up for every costume you bring. You can take one. And uh, that's more about reducing environmental impact. So we're, we're reusing com uh, costumes. We're sharing as a community. Um, so not necessarily recycling. So what we want people to take away with is uh, there are lots of small things that you can do that will have a big, bigger impact uh, in our community and, uh, and further out. And uh, people say, well, that's just a little thing, but the little things turn into big things. They do. They do. And speaking from personal experience, if you want to compost your pumpkins, that is a good idea. Because if you don't, by Thanksgiving... There's they, a mush pile in your yard. It will be a mush pile. <laughs> and uh, then you have to clean that off your uh, patio. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So uh, you can send the pumpkins uh, um, and your jack-o'-lanterns out. Although you want all the glitter and if there's any... Right. We don't want paint... Uh, no candles, no glitter or stickers, please, you know, but mm -hmm. a traditional carved pumpkin, you take the, the candle out and that's ready to be composted. Good deal. And so you'll be doing the, um, the costume swap and mm -hmm. we'll be composting the pumpkins, but what other activities uh, uh, will also be going on out there? Just a lot of awareness, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, we always want to offer a, a craft at least something that's uh, accessible for kids and something that's, you know, a little bit more fun for adults. Um, and then we have community partners who are going to be joining us too. So there will be a re representative from the City of Urbana's U-Cycle program. Uh, she likes to do some games for the kids. There's a, a recycled toss. You remember Bozo Bucket? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so something like that. Uh, we do a recycle sort game for mm -hmm. kids. So those are for the, the littler people who mm -hmm. you know like to move around, and they can really get hands-on with the whole idea of recycling. Uh, and then we'll have the Idea Store coming out, and they're going to offer their own craft activity station as well as just a table full of ideas. So the Idea Store, if, if you or others aren't familiar, is a sort of a local 
warehouse of odds and ends where mm -hmm. people donate their odds and ends and then you can buy odds and ends and you know it's really hard to describe the the amazing things that they have there but they're items that would have otherwise possibly gone straight into the garbage and so it's a great place to find craft supplies and they have some really interesting ideas for for reusing repurposing and upcycling mm -hmm. that's a new term uh -huh. <laughs> so they'll be offering something to do as well and that's become more of a thing in the past it seems to me in the past several years, the reusing and the repurposing mm -hmm. of things. I saw a great idea where you can take the two liter pop bottle mm -hmm. and turn it into a bird feeder. Yeah. Is, that's amazing. <laughs> well, now at the Anita Purvis Nature Center, our environmental educators are, you know, very familiar with all of these different mm -hmm. crafts that you can do from recycled materials. And it's a lot of what we like to do at our camps and our, our other programming. It's just that this event is really going to highlight those kinds of things for, mm -hmm. for people who may not have uh, seen those things before. And you bought a little show and tell today. What so is this? So we did. This is just, um, it could be an ornament. It could be uh, something that you hang on the wall. It could be something that sits on your Thanksgiving table and holds a platter mm -hmm. off of the table. You can um, hold it up again and show it. Sure. To, yeah. So this is it's just made from paper towel tubes. You know, really? everybody's got paper tubes around uh -huh. the house. So you take that paper tube, flatten it, cut it into pieces. This one's painted. And you can make lots of different designs with them. Um, and if you look online, you'll find people are doing really creative things with these paper tubes. So we'll have lots of paper tubes, um, paint, glue, for people to experiment, make something for themselves and, and take it home. And, you know, probably everybody's going to make something different, which will be amazing. And you think, oh, the paper towel tubes, they look very nondescript and kind of bad when they're all done. But the, that's something really yeah, pretty. Yeah, thank you. That was that's nice. Isn't that neat? Yeah, it stands up there. <laughs> and um, before the event, kids can actually make their own little creations and bring them out on November third. Correct? That's right. So we have started in the last few years encouraging people to um, make things like this, or or you know maybe something artsy, or maybe it's something with a purpose. Um, making it out of materials that are reused or recycled or repurposed, um, and then bringing that to our creative reuse competition. So you can take something like this that you've made at home and enter it in the competition, and um, we'll just have little prizes for, for everybody who wants to participate. Um, we like to, you know, focus on uh, is something useful. Um, I know that I, I mentioned this could just be a piece of art, um, but we've all got lots of things on the walls usually. We want mm -hmm. to, our things that we create to be to have a new life, a new purpose. Um, and so people have made things in the past like um, a rug out of old t-shirts. Um, that was a favorite of mine. We had somebody last year make uh, tote bags out of old bird seed and dog food bags. Nice. Really neat ideas. I've seen uh a quilt made out of someone they've run 5k's and 10k's and marathons and somebody made a quilt out of those t-shirts yeah. to kind of honor that person but yeah. at the same time exactly well that would be a great example of something that could be entered in the, in the competition um, we do hope that we get lots of kids participating but we welcome entries from all ages now uh, there are at times over the years there's been some recycling education going on at mm -hmm. Anita Purvis Nature Center uh, there have been some composting uh, ID um, classes mm -hmm. and things along those lines. Uh, I would imagine if anybody has any questions about composting or how do I get into reusing and renewing and um, and any type of other recycling, people know pretty much the recycling programs around here. Yeah. But if they're looking for creative ideas, I'm sure you guys are available oh, to yeah. discuss things at any time. Absolutely. The staff at the Anita Purvis Nature Center are very happy to um, talk to the public about uh, questions, ideas. You know, we can direct people to other resources in the community. Like I said, the Idea Store is another really great mm -hmm. community resource, um, as is the City of Urbana's U-Cycle program. Uh, so we have um, all of these great people in the community who are really focused on uh, reusing, reducing, recycling. 
And uh, again, America Recycles Day, celebration at Urbana Park District, yes. November 3rd. Yes, it's a Saturday. Anita Purvis Nature Center mm -hmm. up on North Broadway. That's right. Next, Right next door to the outdoor pool. That's right. 1 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Bring your jack-o'-lanterns and bring your costumes and have some fun. Yeah, that's right. Savannah Donovan, thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Savannah Donovan, Environmental Public Program Coordinator, has been our guest today on Mark in the Park talking about America Recycles Day this coming November 3rd, Saturday, from 1 to 4 p.m. at Anita Purvis Nature Center. For more information, go online at urbanaparks.org. I'm Mark Schultz. Thanks for joining us.